There are several ways to go about rigging a mesh in Lightwave, and I thought what we could do is take a look at this simple mouth shape, uh, this mouth geometry, and use joints to rig it. I've also set up a basic little morph target here with it closed, and we can use that in the mix as well, or we can not use it, but we're going to do it both ways so we can see uh, how it would work uh, with both setups. Let's go ahead and send it over to Layout. And I'm going to move to four display windows and uh, let's set this to back view. Go ahead and go full screen with that. And I'm going to hide and lock the camera just so that I don't really need them active whenever I'm setting up the rig. So I'm going to go to the scene editor, slide that over and hide and lock. And while we're in here, I'm just going to go ahead and lock the, the mesh as well so I don't accidentally select it once I get going. Okay, let's go to texture mode and make sure that bone x-ray is on so we can see what we're doing. Under the setup tab I'm going to choose uh, draw joints and I'm just going to drag out two joints here. I've got my center one here and I've got the tip here and let's go back to this uh, this first joint and let's draw a child. I'm going to draw child joints i put one here, go back to the center, and I'm going to create a few of these. They're just going to be little handles for me to manipulate the mesh with. Make a little star pattern. Okay. And there we go. So we've got all of our uh, joints where we want them. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them and rest them. And then let's go over to our perspective window here. I'm going to change that to texture. And let's take a look at our properties. So P for properties. I don't want the multiply strength uh, by wrestling because they have a zero uh, wrestling. So I'm going to just go ahead and turn that off. And let's use limited range. And we can see here uh, the fall off, and I'm just going to increase that a bit. Let's, uh, let's see how this works. Now on the center one, I'm going to take the strength to zero, because I just want to use this so that whenever I grab uh, the center, I want to be able to move all of the, the joints. Um, so it's a quick way if the character has to do a ooh as it passes uh, through the, um, you know, from one side of the face to the other, I can quickly just grab all of them with this handle. Now I also notice that I need to go to Object, Properties, and I need to set my subdivision order to last so I get a better uh, deformation there. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to move over to frame 10. Let's go ahead and close this. And I want to start off by taking advantage of a, a morph target. So P for Properties, Deform. Let's add Morph Mixer. And I'm just going to leave this window so that we can easily access it. So I'm just going to leave it down here. Okay. And on frame 10, we're going to close the mouth. So we have a closed mouth. Now, right now, I only have one morph target, as we can see, set up on this object. But one of the things that I can do now that I have these joints in place is start really dressing up this morph so it's not just a closed, uh, a closed mouth. So I'm just going to move over to frame 20. We're just going to... Uh, do a little bit of manipulation here. I'm going to give it more of a smirk. Let me bring these down. So I'm kind of sculpting my pose here. So if I turn off bone x-ray, we can see now it closes and goes to the side. Now I could build an extra morph for that, but instead I'm using one morph and I'm manipulating the geometry with the uh, with the joints. So let's go back to bone x-ray just so we can see. And let's go ahead and uh, dress this up a little bit more than just a smirk. So I'm going to grab these joints. I'm going to push them back some. So now I'm getting that little uh, laugh line there. And even though this one is uh, pointing down, which if we had both of them it would be a frown, I'm just going to go ahead and smirk that back as well. Okay. So hopefully you're seeing that with uh, the addition of some joints along with this morph, we're getting pretty nice looking uh, deformation here without using multiple morphs. If I came, come over to frame 30, uh, I'm just going to set 
this to zero. So now the mouth's open, but I still have that deformation going on. Or I just use part of it, just a, a small percentage of the uh, morph, and I start sculpting again. So now all of a sudden, he's, uh, he's not going to be as happy. Got a frown going on here. Let's uh, pull this down, maybe pull it over some. Let's pull this over some. Okay, and then I'm going to take these and move them down here. Okay, let's turn off bone x-ray, and there we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is on frame 40, I'm going to set the morph to zero and turn bone x-ray on. And I'm going to start working without a morph. So say you never had a morph, nothing stops you from working up a shape that you might want, like a closed mouth, without ever getting to uh, the morph stage. Okay, and so really it's just a matter of sculpting with these joints. Okay, let me turn bone x-ray off. And so now I've got a closed mouth and I have no morph taking place. So as you can see, we can do full-blown facial animation using joints. Of course, throwing in some morphs just gives you that much more of an option. And so you could build a set of very basic morphs uh, and go in and, and throw some joints in areas uh, like the eyebrow, the mouth, um, you know, cheeks and things. I mean, you could use as many as you want, but, and you don't even have to have them all connected like this. Uh, let's, let's take a look at if we didn't want them to have them all connected by this center piece. Again, the reason I have them all connected by this center piece is that somewhere during the animation, I might decide that I want to shift this around and I don't want to select all of them. But say you didn't want to have them all selected by one piece, say uh, in the eyebrow area. We'll just use it on this mesh and take a look at that. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back to my back window. And let me hop over to the object. And I'm going to draw some geometry. So let me go to front face. And under the setup tab, I'm going to choose draw joints. And I'm going to draw a joint here, draw a joint here, and draw a joint here. Okay. Now, I, I can even them out if I want. But for right now, I'm just going to do this, select these remove them and now I just have I'm just gonna I am gonna even that out a bit uh, and select all of these and rest them there okay and I'm also going to set a keyframe at zero because I was doing that all at uh, I was doing that all at frame 50 so I'm gonna slide these back at zero and rest them there uh, I should again be working at 50, but that's okay. So with those uh, in place, even though um, it doesn't look the same as the other ones, they don't have to have connectors because these joints can still affect uh, the mesh. So if I, let's just go back to the perspective window and let's look at the bone properties, turn off the uh, uh, rest length and then limited range. And we can just dial this up to whatever we feel is necessary. Go to bone x-ray and as you can see we can manipulate the mesh and we can play with the bone strength as well but we can ma manipulate the uh, like if we take the strength on this and I'm just gonna crank it up to 500 just because uh, I can and now we can see that we can uh, just grab these as little handles on the mesh so if you don't like using the little star pattern nothing would stop you from in the uh, mouth area from just having individual joints around here without a center point but again big uh, bonus to that center point. I can easily grab on to all of them at once uh, by grabbing the parent and all the children will follow. Okay, so if you wanted to for this upper area, nothing would stop you from having one joint here connected to three children so that you could do the same thing. But I would say that in an eyebrow type area, uh, I would probably go and just use individual joints. So with joints, you can gain full control over your facial rig.